Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and I'd like to welcome you back to another Throwback Friday. We are now on to episode 8. Crikey, it's going quick. Right, so first one up today is the Audi Knit and Pearl Ombre a Yarn Review. Okay, so I'll let you have a watch of this, see what you think um, and I'll explain a little bit more about it on the other end. <laughs> see you shortly. Right, this one is from May 2020. Hello my crazies and welcome back. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady. So I've got a message today from a lady called Megs um, and her message, I'll just read it out to you. She says she's looking at buying the six pack of Aldi yarn cakes and wondered if I thought it would be thick enough to knit a blanket because um, she's a bit of an amateur crafter. Now I can't say anything about knitting because I can only crochet. So what I thought I'd do was pop on, make a quick video for you and show you some of the stitches and some of the projects that I've made using that, that wall so that you can see how it works up for me and then you hopefully it will give you a little bit more insight into it. So what I'm now going to do is set up my other camera so you can have a closer look at the works. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so... This was the yarn I'm hoping you were talking about, which was the Knit and Pearl Ombre yarn. If I've got that wrong, please tell me underneath, Megs, and I'll um, have another go. Right, so with, with that colourway that I just showed you, I'm actually attempting to make a top, which is a very win it's going to be really thick. It's a winter one. Now, this stitch works really, really well, actually, for a blanket, because this is feeling more like the thickness of a blanket than anything else. As you can see it is really, it comes up really really chunky. Right so to get this one, I can't remember the actual name of the stitch but it's increases of two for your chain and you you um, you go into one stitch then you uh, chain one, you come into the next, chain one come into the next and then on your return you just go into the gap that you'd made previously. No, it's it's gone out of my head which one it is, but um, yeah, as I said, this has worked up really, really thick. This is super heavy, so much so that I can't actually work with with this one because it's just too bulky. So I can't work with it at the moment because it's too warm. Okay, then you would have all seen the some of you would have seen the top that was in the background that I made with the green colourway. With this stitch now this one works up quite nicely it's quite quick and it's not a bad little idea for a blanket it's just double crochets it's a row row of double crochet and then the next row is a double crochet chain one double crochet so it's really simple quick row repeats on that one right so this is the last uh, the last colorway which is also the very first project I used this yarn with. Now this has got bobble stitches, um, if I remember rightly that is front post to make the chain there and then of course we've got the double crochet again. Now this originally was meant to have this as a pattern repeat um, and it was one of Crystal from Bag of Days patterns but this is the very first thing I'd ever done with bobble stitch and this is when I realised that I don't like bobble stitch and that it eats far too much yarn which is why I ended up swapping it out and um, just adding a load of double crochet in but I also wanted to show you the way that sometimes the colour colour works up you do get your striping and it works up quite nicely but occasionally as it's fading colour it will jump and get darker now I've had that in a few spots I've also had a block of say this darker colour here that bounced up into the beige here so I ended up having to cut it out because that drives me insane um, but other than that as I said it's it's really thick it's really heavy once it's worked up as well and don't ask this um, this shawl I think took around three to four balls to make which is um, why it's never going anywhere and it's staying with me so I hope that helped you a little bit um, Megs now I did find because of the wool content on them 
that they are a bit rougher on your hands than um, say your Starcraft DK because of course that's what I was used to using back in the day um, and it is rougher than the other um, yarns that I have worked with as well but as I said I believe that's down to the wool content because I've not really played a lot around with um, different yarns with different wool contents and different fibres as yet um, some positives on it though is it's the same thickness as that Aran yarn um, and although not the softest it does hold its shape really well after washing now the shawl that I showed you I made that last year or a year and a bit ago now it's been washed umpteen times um, it's still holding its shape it's still kept its colour but it is still a little bit itchy but I think the itchiness is down to the wool content because I'm not really the best with wool wool makes me itch right so I'm going to head off now um, I hope that helped you if it didn't again pop a message down below and I'll try again but otherwise have a lovely day and um, all stay in stay safe and I'll see you all soon to off for now right well that reminded me that jumper the pink purple and blue is still a ufo seen in the back of my wardrobe and there was me thinking i didn't have many of them oops um right and the green solid top i didn't show you the whole thing but you'll have seen it by now on the mannequin and um, that was behind me before i did the room change and that actually got sold so yay one item out the door this year um, and then of course we have the um, oh, what was it the uh, purple shawl I still use that that's just come out the wash <laughs> and um, that's going to be sitting on the back of my sofa while I'm feeling a bit there <laughs> I'll be then um, pulling it down and using it in the evenings right it is catch up Sunday this one was also released in May Hello my crazies, my name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady. Right, so I'm back with a little recap on some of the projects um, that I've been working on this week. So as you can see to the side of me, we've got the cheeky monkey. Now he is not completely complete. I went to sew him all together and found that his tail was missing. Now I have found the tail. Liam's had it it was um, sticking up out of the mud in the garden so um, I'm going to have to make a new one because not only was there was only about this much left of it now the tail itself had been about that long but it appears that Liam's um, chomped down on it ripped it to smithereens and then tried to bury the evidence um, he's a little bug he did that last year actually I made um, a water bomb and I'd made loads of them and I'd been bagging them up and bagging them up and I was a hundred percent sure I'd had I'd made six and we'd gone outside and we tested them with a lady that come around so that she could see how good they were so I had like a bag of like this bag of six that came out that one or two of them would get chucked about because I was keeping them for me anyway so We'd been out in, out in the garden chucking this water bomb around and she liked them so she's brought a brand new pack and off she's gone. And when it came to rinsing them out and drying them, I only had five. And I thought, okay, maybe I hadn't made six because I'd been on a mad mission trying to make sure I had enough for this lady um, like to take away with her. So I thought maybe I'd sort of nick one out of my bag and shoved it in in hers because not all of them have been out to play it was only like two of them and it wasn't until about a week ago a week ago ten days ago that I was out in the garden pulling up some weeds and all of a sudden there's this little bit of thread that pops up and I've pulled it up and it happened to be one of the water bombs so um, I was actually it was manky it was dirty there was moss I suppose growing on it it was proper looking bad so I've taken it into the house and I thought I wonder because I don't normally wash them up but I want to sort of I wanted to say to people that it's safe to actually use this that or the other on it like uh, for like the cleaning products so I've got this really manky water bomb and shoved it in the sink 
with some floor cleaner some like bleachy floor cleaner so I thought well do you know what I don't know one if I'm going to be able to get everything out of it anyway and two whether the colour after a year's worth of rain now we've had we had torrential rain and flooding in this area um, over the winter months so I wasn't expecting much from it and so I've I've stuck it in there and like in this bucket of baking hot water giving it a good squidge about and and sort of ruffled it about and until it looked semi clean and um, I must have done about two or three dunks with it and then I thought forget it I'm just gonna shove it in the machine so I shoved it in the machine I thought I'm boiling it so I shoved it in the machine on a boil wash and I'm, I'm sort of I sort of remembered sort of Courtney from Fibre Fox on one of her adventures with the washing machine and how things had shrunk so the whole family were waiting for this water bomb to come out just on the off chance that it had gone from being sort of this big down to like that big we were really hopeful well it turns out that this yarn I've got you can boil you can bleach and it's come out looking exactly the same as the spare one that I've got floating around the house anyway so I'm I'm pretty chuffed with that yarn it's just a shame we can't find it anyway because it's one of the ones in a previous video that I've mentioned a couple of times now because I'm on the hunt for it um yeah so so of course I've now got to make another tail for him so I've now got to find the pattern again because um it was on Pinterest but when I try and open it on Pinterest on my computer it doesn't like it and it sort of says there's viruses or whatever but on my tablet it's perfectly fine right so you eagle eye, eye peeps probably spotted this bag now in this bag I've got 35 um, poppies part made it's just the flower itself not the leaf or any pin or anything on it yet um, the reason behind this is I'd stopped making poppies um, when CO19 kicked in or was about to kick in I was like Do you know what I'm not going to risk it because I don't normally wash the poppies once they're made I literally just make them bag them and send them on the way well because of CO19 like CV19 I just couldn't run the risk so I'd stop making them which meant I only have 100 completed poppies at the moment but they were um, boxed and bagged months before this all kicked off so they're now sitting in my cupboard um, in a um, oh, what are they called like the hoover bags that you put your yarn and stuff in and then you can suck all the air out so it means we can get more back from holidays well anyway they're actually in one of those now so I know that they're completely airtight it's completely sealed there is no chance of anything getting in there and I know that because we're still clear and that was done February time so I know that that, that 100 are perfectly fine for everybody so um, of course I hadn't done any poppies and I've had this Facebook memory pop up that said um, this time last year I was up to 500 so of course that sort of got my brain ticking over thinking am I actually going to get around to making any this year and like any more and will they will I have it completed in time because ideally I want to make another thousand for my local British Legion I've got all the pins and I've got everything else and I've made 900 leaves so you don't really want to waste the leaves do you so I started making the poppies last night and decided what I'm going to do is I'm bagging them popping the date on them and then sort of once all the thousand parts have been made um, and hopefully everything is lifted and everything's calmed down then I'll put the brooch backs on sort of end of September time really and fingers crossed I can get a team of girls to help me sew them together that live locally I'll supply cake and biscuits and, and coffee um, so so at the moment it stands at 900 leaves 35 parts of the poppy and then of course 100 in storage so I've got a lot more to make yet right so my next bit of news is that green top that I wore in the video that I had the majority of it tucked down my back because it was far too big well I decided 
that I wasn't going to rip it out. There was just too much work involved in it and I do like it. But it's just no good for me. So what I've done is I've taken off the seams so that, um, that were running down the side so that I could lay it flat. And then I thought, well, maybe I can make a shawl or a blanket with it. So I've made up another panel to join the two sides, which was what I was going to do initially anyway for the back. And um, it's just not plain. It's just not working so that is now on time out until it behaves and um, I pull it back out again I'm gonna have to give it a couple of weeks because it was just starting to really bug me I don't know if you ever have any of those sort of um those sort of projects where you get to the point where you just look at it and you're just like I don't want to work on you anymore you're doing my head in so that's why it's on time out right listen up everyone now I'm on a 179 subscribers now so I'm thinking that when I hit my 200 I'm going to run a competition and it will close when I hit my 300 what do you think um, so I'm going to jump off now and record it right so I'm going to see say goodbye see you all later stay in stay safe to our for now gang Come here. Right, listen up. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. Right. So, if you want to know what that magical mystery yarn is, I've got my one and only ball left, and I can't use it until I can find a replacement. It's this one. It's uh, the La Lavana Savi. I bought it over in Portugal in the Chinese shop, and this is what it looks like. It looks a bit like a pipe cleaner. Um, it's got one strand of cotton. A very thin cotton running through it and then the fluff is coming off it and it's only on the one side which is why I said it reminds me of a pipe cleaner I'm just trying to sort it so I can get it up close so you can see come on camera focus in oh wrong way is it gonna focus no it's not gonna play but if you recognize it recognize this or this style of yarn so as you can see it's got a very short color change on it but if you know where I can get my hands on some of this please stick it in the messages down below because um, this is something I would love to feature um, on another video especially if we can find a stockist that still has it in stock or has something I pretty much as close to identical as this um, in stock because you know what I'm like if I can find a yarn that's very similar I'm happy to run with it right um, let me carry on watching and see what else there was in this video now, as you know, that pattern is definitely not available, and it's not available even if I try to open it on my tablet. So, sorry, and no monkey pattern. Right, so that was last year's poppy count, and in the end, there was only tw um, 200 made. So, of course, this year, I'm aiming for the 1,000, and possibly add some in to make up for last year's down for, um, last year's missing numbers. Right, so our next video up is the catch up Thursday blog style 21st of May sort of very similar to what I'm doing with, um, now with our Sundays hello my crazies my name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady right so today I thought I'd pop on say hello see how you're all going um, and sort of fill you in on the week as it's been right so this week i decided i was going to attempt to make my very first lace green lacy top as you know i've got too many balls of this green so you've got the blanket behind me we've got this we've got some other bits and pieces that i've also made out of the green now it turns out i made a boo-boo i because i'd been crocheting aragurumi for a couple of days prior i know when I do that my stitch work becomes very tight so I thought I'd, ha I'd had a bit of a brainwave and I thought well I'm gonna up my size and my hook because of course I love this pattern and this is a variation of this pattern that this scarf is from now i would spoken to Courtney from Fibre Fox Studios and she'd said it was okay for me to run with it and try and make a top um, so for three or four days now I've been making the top I've been recording as I go along or attempting to anyway spending far too many hours editing out all my um, 
little mistakes and my verbal mistakes and everything else and adding adding description a description box on the side that gives you all your stitch counts and everything else so I was really really impressed with it and the only thing left to do was to join the thing up at the back so I've done a video we're tacking it all at the back and then I realized well we're gonna have a massive scallop gap in the back so of course then I'm stuck my brain's ticking over and now I've got a way of doing it but I'm now not happy because I've put my top on and as you can see it's quite a bit bigger than intended now I've actually got this tucked in at the back to make it look a bit more presentable um, on me I've made well I've measured this top now um, and I've scouted the internet for measurements to try and work out its sizing now for UK I was aiming at a UK size 16 maybe 18 but I'm happy to just have the 16 this has come in at a minimum of a UK size 20 more likely 22 but of course I've got nobody locally that size that I can chuck it out and go try it on for me well not at the moment anyway um, so I can only go by pure measurements so if this pattern does get released as it is at the moment um, with just the alterations for the back um, then the pattern basically says at the moment I've mucked up and um, I've mucked up this is for a size tw these measurements and hook sizes are for a size 2022 so now I'm going to be remaking it in um, a three weight yarn instead of is it a three yeah two to an, two to three weight yarn which the pink is and I'm hoping I'm going to have enough because I will be playing yarn chicken with that one um, which is why I went on to the green in the first place now that pattern we're now looking at that it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get this one out that's if I actually do release it if I don't then I'll work I'll be working on the um, purpley top that you've seen me wear pre in previous videos a couple of you have commented saying that you liked it so I'm going to see if I can remember how I did it because that was made on the aeroplane coming back from Australia so I was a bit sort of I had my aeroplane head on which means nothing got written down and I just doodled away so that one there um, hopefully that pattern will be released sort of probably Tuesday Wednesday next week if we're lucky All right, I'm going to take this off because it is absolutely baking don't ask the temp because I haven't got a scooby right so the origami that I've been making this week I'm only going to show you the back of this one at the moment because it's not completed there's no face and there's a couple of little cute details on the front that I want to keep under wraps for now um so I've made a little origami doll um hopefully that needs its outfit and bits and pieces done to it so that's going to be another load of crocheting to take me over to next week and then I've also um, made the body parts legs arms and ears for a cheeky monkey um, I'm not overly keen on the way I've done the face I'm not the best at faces half the time okay it doesn't look so bad on camera yeah so here's my cheeky monkey so he'll look something like that when he's sewn up now once he's sewn up I will show you in my next video um, what he looks like and then I'll pop a link to the pattern that I used underneath because that is not my pattern that is another creator's pattern um, so I'll pop a link on there as well so that's pretty much been it for me for the crocheting side of things this week um, but we have done a new set camera setup, um, and I've got new uh, like a lighting pole and stuff that's gone in. So you're going to be stuck seeing that from now on. But I'm thinking I might try and use it as um, a prop stand to hang things on or something, so you've got something else to look at that's creative. Um, and I'm still running my two cameras, uh, two cameras, but one of them's attached to my table, so it would actually be coming up directly in front of the face which is why I'm only working off the one camera at the moment um, I've got to see if I can work a way around that so that we've still got a view of working top and working bottom that I can run at the same time for 
the future lives that we may that I may do. Do you guys want lives from me? Give me a heads up. Give me a shout down below if you are. And a possible time on when at the moment there's nothing else going on on YouTube that you'd watch. So at least then I'm not going to be jumping in front, like jumping on at the same time as other creators that you watch. All right. Um, now I'm going to head off because as you can see, I've got three projects, four projects now on the go. I hate having more than one. But anyway, four projects on the go that I've got to get me back, back into gear and do. And I've also promised the husband that as it's so hot, I'm going to clean all the carpets in the house. Why do I do these things? <laughs> right so i'm gonna sign off now so stay in stay safe and i'll see you all soon to our for now well uh, that little top um i tried a lot of different ways to try and join it i tried um playing around with a different stitches as you go up um to join them and i couldn't get it to work it didn't look neat it looked horrible so in the end I made a panel another little panel very similar to the scarf from last week's episode because that's basically where the pattern generated from okay um so here's the panel so I've now got myself a spare green scarf because of course this also doesn't match with this so I can't use it to blend the two sides together pants so I've got a thin scarf and now possibly okay the tops and the bottoms do not match that's all right now isn't it so now it's a possible pocket shawl for somebody about five foot five and below just got to put some pockets on it i suppose and i've got two of those to come out the door once they're completed but of course it is one of them things that's sat underneath this desk waiting for me to complete it and me going no don't love you at the moment not touching you but now i've worked out i'm pocket shawling these ones and that's a bit of a bonus um and i'll have a look and see if i've got the video to explain how to make those and then i can cheekily cheat and shove out a pocket shawl by just making a pocket bonus <laughs> but don't please please don't expect it it's just me being a bit cheeky a bit sarky and if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't oh no you're joking i even showed you the origami doll and guess what that's another ufo <laughs> oops well one good thing is monkey did get finished the bad thing is monkey's pattern um was taken down on pin off pinterest because it appears it had a couple of dodgy links attached to it and spyware or something i don't know but pinterest would like it's no longer available you can't have it so of course i didn't write it down either so <laughs> i can't give you the details for monkey right now let's pop on to the next video the next one is weekly catch up may the 31st 2020 hello my crazies and welcome back my name's angela and i'm the crazy poppy lady right so today is a quick catch up for the week right so the first item is a welcome all my old subscribers and my new ones i've had quite an influx this week well for me anyway i've got 15 newbies um i believe that's down to you guys sharing out the um the 200 sub giveaway video so that's brilliant if you could carry on doing that or sh or just bragging to your mates that you know somebody that's giving out yarn and um, that would be brill if we can get this over and done with because i'm impatient i want to know who's won uh, come on let's get me up to 300 right so this week's items were cheeky monkey he finally got put together now i've had an issue because i know some of you are going to want the original pattern on this one and normally i would be placing it um in the description box down below but i've gone on to pinterest and every image that him and a matching female one are in has been um, suspended by pinterest and um, they're saying that they're unsafe 
Now that was a bit of a pain because as Liam had eaten the tail, I had to try and find the tail, um, which was why I was on the mega search, but it didn't happen. Couldn't find it. So this one's got an Angie invented tail. It's a bit short, um, but it'll do. It's only going to sit behind there and look miserable. <laughs> Right, oh, oh yeah, pop it in there. Okay, so my next item is this one. Now, right, so um, with the competition running, some of you are popping in the comments what you'd like me to make next. Now, I started running with an idea quite early on with like one of the first, com my first couple of comments have gone through one just jumped out at me now donna ray i'm going to leave it at that rather than using your whole surname because i can't pronounce it and actually i can't read it i wrote it down and it's so scruffy i've got doctor's handwriting so i've got no chance of um reading it out but it's donna ray you wanted a video on how to do a corner to corner picture just a basic one just a smallish one so, after two, two days of recording, we finally got a video and the video will be going up on Tuesday at 10 GMT, which is uh, 10 o'clock in the morning in the UK. So, here it is. That's just a quick little, uh, little look. Now, um, with this pattern, I'm going to be turning it into... Um, a little blank, uh, kids blanket and probably a cushion because I know a couple of I've had another person say can I have a cushion give me a second I'm just going to check my list haha -ha, found it was Sabrina now Sabrina again I've got no chance of pronouncing your surname that's just because I'm going to muller it otherwise but Sabrina's got an absolutely wicked channel so I'm going to pop a link down below she's got loads of stuff on there that some of you might be interested in because she does bigger items <laughs> right but she also suggested a cushion so this pattern um with the cupcake is going to be a cushion as well so it's a two for one deal really um yeah so that's that bit so we got that little cupcake um, and there's a sneak peek at a possible panel for the um, for the blanket, but I'm still not sure. I'm not taken by this one. This one row has been pulled out so many times, and the colours are swapped around. It's unbelievable. I like things to be identical, symmetrical, and not too um, busy. So I'm trying to work out of my comfort line, uh, comfort zone, by having a single row but we'll just have to wait and see i'm going to keep making it and hope that once it's done it sort of looks all right give us a shout down below if, about what you think about that right another one is i'm trying at the moment to set up a little facebook group i'm going to pop the link into this video um and it's solely for you to jump over say hello and ideally share um any photographs that you've got of anything that you've made using the patterns like like the giant unicorn pillow or the spider pillow or even even the little um, possible cloth for your bottom that are made at the beginning of all this aggro um, it would be really really lovely to see it and it would give me a chance then to respond better to you and respond to you more than what I can normally do on YouTube Right, so I know some of you were interested in how long it takes for us to get a video made and up and ready for you. Now, the cupcake tutorial that's coming up on Tuesday took me over 18 hours to make. And I actually sped through the crochet. It was all down to the filming and the fact that I've got my words confused. So. Each little section probably took three attempts so you'll notice by the end of it I'd sort of cut down all the the spiel that's um, that's in at the beginning and I've just given you row counts and box counts and whatnot um, because 
over 18 hours just to do that bit was really starting to get to me so I was like super happy when it was finally finished and any corrections had been put in in little comment boxes so that you guys can read it, read it and know that I've mucked up so then I go to render it and export it onto my computer first attempt fails that was only 25 minutes where my computer was locked up so I couldn't do now else second attempt it got through and it did it but it took an hour and 25 minutes hour and 25 it's not even an hour long <laughs> so then I was super happy I'm like right it's going on YouTube this will only take 15 minutes and then I can get on and I can start recording something else hour and 20 minutes it had loaded it up within about 47 I think it was but then it wouldn't let me write anything you know like the description or the name of the video or any of that extra stuff that we have to like that we put in so that was a mega long video well mega long experience for me really making that video and everything else and you guys want me to do blankets oh my god could you imagine how long those videos would be oh, i'd tie my computer up for three weeks right, right so i'm gonna head off now so I'm getting on with making that blanket and hopefully I'll have that up for you by next weekend. So I'm going to say goodbye now. Goodbye all my crazies and I'll see you all soon. Stay in and stay safe. ta -ra for now. Hello my crazies and welcome back. My name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady. Right, so today is a quick catch up for the week. Um... I've been pretty chuffed actually because I've recently put up a brain fart moment right so and uh, this is it here it is the cupcake blanket now you've seen it loads sitting behind me um it's got two panels on sorry it is massive this one by the time you've made the panels but managing the panels the panels are really easy it gets bigger once you've joined them and it's got a little cupcake border on it now the uh, pattern for this one is up on the channel it is called crazy's cupcake c to c easy blanket pattern hashtag zero six and honestly it is easy it just looks really complicated but it's just four um four corner to corner little corner to corner squares and they are a lot smaller than unicorn and they're smaller than absolutely every other corner to corner project i've got on the channel take a breath and take a breath okay so that's it for this week's throwback friday i really hope you enjoyed it i'd love to see what you think about it and the different bits and pieces in the comments below um i will see you all on sunday to all for now everybody please stay in and stay safe <laughs>